Hello fellow crafters, my name's Mika and today we're making a pencil case that looks like a notebook page and we're making it completely from scratch. I found this design one day while browsing through Etsy and I thought it looked like something anthropology would charge 50 bucks for. The materials you'll need two rectangular pieces of any semi-thick fabric, two pieces of lining and two of fusible netting, a zipper, blue, red and coordinating thread, a ruler and a marking tool. Start by marking the notebook lines on your fabric and then saw a straight stitch over those lines. This is the part where you can add your own personal touch. With the pencil, sketch or write anything you want. It could be your name, a quote, a cute little bunny, anything. The next step is to hand saw what you just sketched. Do a bit of embroidery, if you will, or mock embroidery, as I like to call it. Start with a double thread and do a small stitch, then bring your needle back to the middle point of that first stitch. Try to make it go between the threads and then take it a bit further, creating another small stitch. I honestly don't know how much of a legit embroidery technique this is, but it makes a solid line and doesn't take ages or actual embroidery skills. Cause I ain't have them. This next step is optional, but if you want your pencil case to be a bit more durable and sturdy, now it's the time to iron on the fusible netting. Make sure you cut it larger than the piece of material you'll be fusing it to, and you can cut the extra afterwards. Now that you have both front and back rectangulars ready, it's time to add the zipper. Sandwich it between the good sides of the outer fabric and the lining, pin in place and sew. And now you must have something that looks like this. Give it a good press so everything can adjust to its new home. And you can also top stitch for a cleaner line. Do the same thing to the other side and make sure the zipper can open and close easily. Just like any other bag, you have to put the good sides together, outer fabric with outer fabric and lining with lining and saw a straight stitch all around, leaving a couple of inches to turn it inside out. And honestly guys, this is the hardest part. Finally, saw the gap we left open before, give it a final press and you're done! Hope you liked this video and even if you don't like to saw, hopefully you got some inspiration to DIY something. I know going back to school can be stressful, but crafting and sewing always worked very therapeutically for me. And I definitely recommend giving sewing a try. And also when you're stressed, it helps to concentrate on the positive things. So start by letting me know in a comment down below what is or was your favorite thing about going back to school. And thank you so much for watching guys. I'll see you again next Friday with another video. And... Sailor out!